So, for this video I'll be showing you how to save your webcomic image within the webtoon and tap ass size limit in Krita. I use Krita for my work since it's a free software that offers an experience comparable to the other paid art programs out there. First, I'll go ahead and open the image that we shall be using for this episode. So Webtoon accepts a file dimension of 800 by 1280 pixels per panel and so when I'm sizing my canvas, I normally target 30 panels per canvas episode which will be 800 by 38,400 pixels per episode. As seen on my right is the layers panel. Anyone else notice that literally all programs have their layers panel on the right? Leave a comment if you use a program that breaks this rule. Anyway, back to the point. I proceed to save the image as a single layer so as to cut down on the image size. I head over to file. Select the save as option and a pop-up window lets you decide the location, the file name and which format to save under. PNG and JPEG are the best and cut across literally all platforms so I chose JPEG for this one since its output cuts down on the size in comparison to a PNG. This then sends you to the JPEG pop-up window which gives you the option of what size you want to save your image and don't forget that the smaller the percentage, the lesser the image quality. Let's go ahead and save at 50% and examine the image size and quality. Image size is legit but let's see the quality. Not as good. It's best to compare this with another image saved at a higher percentage. Let's do 70% this time round. So, file size has increased a bit but still within the limit. How about the quality? You notice those patchy pixelated areas. Not good. Let's go higher. Let's smash the 100% mark and compare the results. Oopsie, size limits are passed. 
This is showing 23 megabytes yet according to Webtoons and Tapas. 20 megabytes is the limit as the creator handbook over here says. So, let's do what we do best. How about we save it at a slightly lower percentage, say, 90%. Let's check out the results. So, as you can see, the image size falls back within our limit at around 8 megabytes and what about the quality? As you can see, the patchy pixelated pairs have greatly disappeared. But since this is 90%, why not go higher but lower than 100%? I'm feeling blessed at 95%. Let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and save this and check out the results. So, the size is beautiful as it is and as for the quality. Splendid. No patchy marks and our guy is looking mighty fine. Let's do a quick comparison with the previous image saved at 50% to compare. You see these marks, totally gone. So, you can see how playing with the percentage slider will drastically give your image a quality look yet within the specified size limits. So next we proceed to split our saved JPEG image saved at 95%. I'll be uploading a video that shares a simple website that does the splitting as well but, in most cases, I use Krita's and build image split feature found under the image menu. So, remember I told you that my canvas targets 30 panels per episode and if we are to do the math, 38,400 is divided by the height of one single panel and gives you 30 panels? Right, so, to get 30 panels we shall input 29 horizontal lines and 0 vertical lines. The vertical lines run from top to bottom so ensure that they are at zero. Don't tamper with any other settings. I usually shorten the prefix for the saved files and I select the JPEG format. and proceed to save. Go ahead and select or create a folder to save our files and proceed. Let's go. 
So, the saving is going on and boy does that look cool. So, because we entered 29 horizontal lines, we must get 30 panels. If your canvas let's say is made of 20 panels, subtract by 1 and enter 19 horizontal lines. I think you get it by now, right? So, all our sliced images are less than 2 megabytes which is the size limit for a single panel and 800 by 1280 pixels in size. If any of your sliced images exceeds the 2 megabyte size, it won't be allowed to upload to webtoons. So that is how yours truly sizes down my images and slices them up. In the next video, it'll cover uploading to the sliced images to the two platforms so be sure to hit the bell icon if you look forward to it. The episode used is from my newly uploaded comedy series called Contagious Madness available on both webtoons and tapas. Links in the description below. Until next time, bye.